post-trade processes, interbank FX transfers. Are you curious to know more about cross-country settlements, Nostro accounts, etc.? Then do subscribe to my YouTube channel where we provide content rich specifically focused on investment banking, trade life cycle, as well as OTC derivatives. This fifth lesson in the FX trade life cycle takes a look at understanding what is a Nostro account. Let's see some of the terms that we often use in the context of FX trade settlement. Sometimes you might come across terms like Nostro account. You might also come across terms like Swift and no, it has got nothing to do with Taylor Swift. You also get to hear terms like confirmations and of course, continuously linked settlements, CLS. Let's learn a little bit more on these aspects of FX trade settlements. As we've already discussed in the earlier videos, the market structure of the FX market is decentralized trading, which has been dominated largely by institutional investors like banks, hedge funds, mutual funds, who use a lot of capital as well as leverage to speculate on FX currency movements. Therefore, there is some bit of counterparty risk that exists in these markets. Let's take an example. Hari Hedge Fund has taken a short position of USD Euro of $10 million at a rate of 0 0.8550 with KH Bank. We've already explained all these terms and how we interpret base rate, quote rate, base currency, quote currency in different markets. It continues the same way over here as well. Okay. So to kind of uh, recap over here, Hari Hedge Fund has taken a short position of USD 10 million. So they are short on USD and long on Euro. And the counterparty to the trade is KH Bank. The trading position for Hari Hedge Fund is, it's short on USD 10 million dollars and it is long on Euro 8.55 zero how did i get euro 8.550 million euros it's very simple i went back to the rate mentioned over there one usd is equal to 0 0.8550 i applied the uh, simple arithmetic for 10 million and i got the euro equivalent of the dollar position which is very important huh? because in fx trading and especially in settlements if you are long in one currency we are short in the other currency in the currency pair so you cannot leave it hanging otherwise you'll have reconciliation problems okay so to keep it concrete and then to substantiate the need for a fairer uh, picture of the amounts we have to have both trading positions mentioned over here for kh bank the trading position is long usd 10 million how do i do to say kh bank because i think i've color coded KH bank to be a purple creatured bank <laughs> all over the place and therefore they are short on euro 8.550 million okay so the mirror accounting as it is called mirror positions okay of both the counterparties is very evident over here in this kind of a trade moving on to slide number 2.1 hurry hedge fund therefore has to deliver usd to the counterparty KH bank Okay, and this must take place before the spot settlement date or whatever is the settlement date that is mentioned. Similarly, the counterparty obligation for KH Bank is to deliver the euros to Hari Hedge Fund. Okay, since Hari Hedge Fund has shorted dollars, they have to give dollars. Since KH Bank has shorted, has taken a short position in euro, they have to give the euro. So this still now it is fairly simple. If you have any confusion about this, go to the second lesson on the FX trade life cycle. It gives a very detailed explanation about how currency trading positions are created and matched. Settlement dates in FX markets are of three categories. Settlement can take place today, which is very rare because FX market operates typically across countries, across boundaries, different time zones. So if you want a cash settlement of the trade, then it is a little challenging for the counterparties to settle the trade. The trade can settle on the next working day as well. And 
द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली ट्रेडेड करेंसी पेयर्स विल ट्रेड ऑन टी प्लस टू वर्किंग डेज दैट इज टू वर्किंग डेज फ्रॉम द ट्रेड डेट इफ द ट्रेड इज सेटल टूडे इट इज कॉल्ड एज कैश सेटलमेंट इफ द ट्रेड इज गोइंग टू सेटल द नेक्स्ट वर्किंग डे देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ टॉम सेटलमेंट देर इज नो बडी कॉल टॉम डिक और हैरी इट इज टॉम स्टैंडिंग फॉर टूमोरो and if it settles on t plus 2 as we have already discussed worldwide the terminology for spot market means it's a t plus 2 or a t plus 1 depending upon the market settlement cycle so this is cash settlement it gets settled today it's t plus 1 it's a tom settlement it's a t plus 2 it's a spot market now we come to understanding what are nostro accounts a nostro account literally is my account with you this is the banking account which banks hold with other banks in their home currency okay for example if there are two banks in india and they both obviously hold rupee accounts with each other within the rbi payment system it is not called as a nostro account okay it is a normal local clearing kind of a account because we we are always doing multilateral netting right so we will be discussing about netting and cls in the next video so if you are holding an account with another bank in that bank's home currency it is called as a nostro account let's take an example we have sbi india state bank of india again india <laughs> which is the largest bank in india by sheer size of the balance sheet more than 90% of its transactions is in the domestic currency which is in inr but sbi also has a few clients who deal in jpy okay what do i mean by few it could run into billions of jpy okay <laughs> that is the meaning of few hmm it's not like your travelers check or ka clients going to you know for tourism over to tokyo or students going to study in tokyo universities no it's like investments being made by japanese companies in india large japanese based hedge funds operating in indian stock markets and bond markets and so on and so forth so sbi has a need for quick settlement of jpy okay what does sbi do sbi approaches the largest bank or one of the largest banks in japan called the sumitomo mitsubishi banking corporation and opens a nostro account in jpy with sumitomo bank this is a part of a banking arrangement called as a correspondent banking arrangement okay so sbi opens a jpy denominated account with smbc in tokyo the sbi india thus is the owner of that account who owns the funds sbi who is holding the jpy it is smbc so any transaction which is routed through sbi in jpy will be done by smbc what will be done will conversion be done no the movement the transfer of money will be done by smbc because sbi is the owner they will do all the conversions but the facilitation of movement of funds will be done by smbc therefore smbc being the holder acts like a custodian of that nostro account and will act only according to instructions given to it by sbi india which is the owner of the account okay so smbc cannot touch that nostro account unless it has been instructed by sbi which is the owner of that nostro account to deliver yen to some counter parties now go back let's go back to hari hedge fund it must inform its bank to transfer usd 10 million because it's taken a short position to kh bank that's it okay for hari hedge fund its counter party is kh bank it must make the payment through its bank all right what happens at the back end at the back end there's a lot of steps that go on hari hedge fund informs its bank let's say the bank for hari hedge fund is xyz 
Now, Hari Hedge Fund has to give dollars, correct, to KH Bank. So, it informs its bank that it must make the payment of dollars to KH Bank. How will this information take place? Will this, will this instructions be passed through telex or friendly emails, especially with say CY, TY, etc, etc or even better WhatsApp and Snapchat? No, my friends, obviously all of these three are great social messaging methods or not telex, of course, telex doesn't even exist anymore, but WhatsApp and Snapchat and email are great messaging methods, but bank XYZ being the custodian of Hari Hedge Fund's money will act only on swift instructions. Bank XYZ then goes to its Nostro bank holder, okay? which is let's say bank PQR and tells bank PQR, look, we are having to deliver dollars to KH bank. We have already entered into a five-year correspondent banking relationship. Please make these dollars available to KH bank. So debit my account with you. Nostro account means debit Nostro account means my account with you. Okay. Or our account with you. And this communication also will not take place through Snapchat or WhatsApp or any other messaging service that is available, but only through a safe and secure payment messaging system called as SWIFT. The bank which receives the instructions, PQR, will then transfer the funds to KH Bank. This is a domestic transfer within the USD banking system. Okay, this is through local banking channels and that can take place either through chips or through Fedwire. Looking forward to the next lesson on CLS, let's understand more on netting in that video.